Afternoon, folks. The Chief Meteorologist Nick Lilia here with a look at your uh, tropical update for September uh, 12th of uh, 2019. As always, brought to you by the good folks at uh, Pine Belt Gutters. Got a lot going on. We've got a brand new uh, tropical system out there to talk about. Uh, it's sort of formed. Uh, as well as another way. Well, into the Gulf of Mexico we go. We do have a swirl out here, mid-level area of low pressure. Uh, this is going to kind of sag back off to kind of the, the west-southwest. This may actually end up uh, like uh, almost like Ferdinand a couple of days ago where it uh, maybe picks up some extra thunderstorms in an area of uh, lower level circulation. Maybe some of the energy down here into the Bay of Campeche. And this thing may actually end up being a tropical depression at some point as it moves away from the United States. So we'll have to keep tabs on that for the next couple of days. We've got newly minted, hot off the presses, potential tropical cyclone number nine here, future Humberto. Uh, we've got uh, just a mess of cloud cover out here, loosely associated with what's left of 94L, but that's dead and gone. And then another wave back here. And then back in behind that, Another wave and another wave and another wave, you know, is that time of the year where we've got plenty of things coming off of uh, the African coast to worry about. Okay, back here, first things first. Again, uh, hot off the presses, uh, potential tropical cyclone number nine, anticipated to be a tropical storm as it makes landfall somewhere along the Florida coast. Tell me if this looks familiar. Curl around up the coast and maybe back out to sea. I will say this about uh, this uh, PTC uh, number nine. Uh, things are most certainly not set in stone with this one. Uh, the National Hurricane Center even pointed out that it has a uh, higher than usual level of uncertainty with the track and the intensity due to the bifurcation of the uh, modeling data. So what I'll tell you right now is beyond 48 hours, I'd kind of take this with a reasonable grain of salt uh, in terms of track and intensity and truly uh, probably 24 hours or so. This thing, we're, they're still trying to find the center on this thing. The hurricane hunters are headed out there. Uh, they're going to be flying around in there. Uh, they're still trying to figure out exactly where the center is. They, they found a loose center here, but due to the convection that we're seeing associated with uh, the eastern edge of this, we're going to have to see, wait and see what happens with the center as this explosion of convection actually moves in the opposite direction of storm motion right now, or the system motion. Storm motion going one way, system motion going another. Uh, we're going to have to see, wait and see what happens with that. Stats as of right now, wind at 30 miles an hour, moving to the northwest at 8 miles an hour. But again, we're going to have to wait and see, uh, unfortunately, what happens with this. Uh, a little further back off to the uh, south and east. Now, one wave here is anticipated to eventually be here with a 40% chance of development by the time it gets closer to the greater and lesser Antilles. This isn't for this area of thunderstorm activity. It's actually for uh, this wave that's kind of back over here to eventually make its way into this area for some potential development. But okay, uh, back to number nine here for uh, uh, a hot second. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., notice it hasn't moved much, but here's our problem. You can probably already see the problem. The models don't know where the center of this thing is either. Some of them think it's up here. Others think it's way down here. Some others think it's actually way down here. Well, let's go back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this back. Where does the National Hurricane Center think the center is? National Hurricane Center says right there get our bearings one island another island okay let's move forward so the center is actually according to the national hurricane center right there so we've already got a problem in here if the center is right here and the models some of them okay i'm going to line it up here some of them think it's all the way out here others think it's just down here so if the center is here we may kind of take these ones and ride out where we think some of the models on kind of the southern half of all of this mess are going to end up going. Well, let's run this out. Here we go through Saturday. Most of the models that are on the southern side of this do end up taking it kind of riding along the southern half of all of these models. And then they start to kind of turn it up to the north and take it out a little further. 
I'll say this, of some of the models that take it into the Gulf of Mexico, there are, again, kind of two chunks in here. You've got one chunk that's moving it into the Gulf of Mexico still, a lot like it's been shown to do over the last couple of days, and then some of the newer chunks that are kind of lifting it off to the north. Last night, yesterday, uh, you may have been watching the news, and if you're somebody that watches this from outside of our, our TV market, I'll kind of re-explain what I was going over. But I said I circled one area, and I said, well, here's where the statistical models are taking it, and then here are where the dynamical models are taking it. And the shift happened overnight within all of the models to the dynamical side of things, which kind of makes sense. The statistical models are basically running things off of uh, climato climatological means and averages and stuff like that. The dynamical stuff is the stuff that's actually looking at the atmosphere itself. However, uh, with all that being said, even with the shift to the north, there are still some that are trying to hold on. This little neon green line in here, that's the GFS. Uh, I think that thing is out to lunch. <laughs> Things got it rolling around South Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama for a couple of days and then back into the Gulf of Mexico. I don't necessarily buy that. It is something to watch in the next couple of days though, after Saturday. I think after this point right here, give or take, the rest of this stuff can probably be thrown out at this point. We just don't know enough yet because the center hasn't formed. Uh, once the center forms, we'll know more. All right, over to the European model. This one has the center forming a whole lot further to the north than it actually is right now. Further to the north, storm goes north. Further to the south, storm goes west. Okay, well, what happens? Oh, it formed to the north, and look at it. It's going off to the north. How about that? And then kind of rolls around just off the east coast and then out to sea. Uh, here comes the wave back in behind uh, that. This is not a nine death of 94L. This is the one that's got the 40% chance of development. And then this one through the Bahamas and off to the north as well. The poor folks in the Bahamas, they just dealt with Dorian. Now they've got a tropical storm that's going to be rolling through and perhaps another wave that may develop into something that rolls through as we head through days 7, 8, and uh, 9. Outside of that, things do calm down a little bit as we head through uh, the end of September. So there's a look at your tropical update for September 12th of uh, 2019. A lot to still kind of figure out over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours within the modeling. Uh, we got to wait for the, the hurricane hunters to kind of get out there, get all the data back, then get that data into, um, into the modeling. Uh, the data is great now that we have it. Hurricane hunters flying around say, oh yeah, they got the data, they sent it back. Well, we've got to wait for it to get into the models as we head through the overnight hours tonight and then through the day tomorrow before it really starts to mean anything to the official forecast. Uh, but I know the National Hurricane Center, they just want to warn folks as early as possible, let them know that there's something to brewing out there. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. Give it another 12 to 24 hours. I think that the, the tail may wag quite a bit over the next 12 to 24 hours within the modeling. But once we get through Friday afternoon, I think we're going to start to get a little more locked in in terms of your, your cone of uncertainty actually being truly uh, the forecast cone. So like I said, anyway, there's a look at your tropical update for September 12th of 2019. Again, brought to you by the good folks at Pine Bell Gutters. Uh, that's the breakdown for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.